Hello everyone, it's Queen V and I'm back to you with another video. This video pertains to the sentencing of a 15 year old who fatally unalived 16 year old Kyla Brianna Green last year. Before I begin my commentary, I would like to send my continued support and condolences to the Green family, friends, and community during this difficult time. Young Kyla Brianna Green was not only a student, but she was a cheerleader, a daughter, a sibling, and a community member. So let's go back to April of last year. What should have been a day of celebration for the Mount Vernon high basketball team turned tragic when a 15 year old took it upon herself by taking out Kyla Brianna Green and injuring another teenager with multiple injuries. This tragic moment was recorded and quickly spread on social media platforms. At the time of this unfortunate unaliving, the 15 year old in question was charged with a felony. It has been confirmed by multiple outlets that the 15 year old suspect took a guilty plea into the unaliving of 16 year old Kyla Brianna Green. It was announced by the district attorney that the 15 year old suspect is not identified due to her age. Due to her guilty plea, she will serve three to nine years in which she will serve two and a half years in the juvenile system and after that is up for parole in which they will decide if she will serve the next nine years. Again, because of her guilty plea, she will serve the first two and a half years in the juvenile system and then afterwards she will be up for parole and they will decide if she will serve the next nine years in new york state prison this is a tragedy beyond words this 15 year old suspect unalived Kyla Brianna Green and injured another schoolmate. I am confused because I saw the video. It was horrific. That 15 year old child had so much venom in her system. She was coming for Kyla's head top as if she was an enemy of the state and she also attacked another schoolmate. I do not understand what the jury saw or what the judge saw, but this is unacceptable. Where is the justice for Kyla Brianna Green? Where is the justice for the other teenager who was unfortunately injured. This type of trauma will forever haunt these two families for the rest of their lives. This 15 year old suspect can still see their family members for years to come. They can still talk to each other, but Kyla, Brianna Green's family will have to visit a grave site, a grave site for the rest of their lives because this 15 year old suspect 
bad mind. Bad mind. The people them pick me. I've said this before and I will say it again. Jealousy is a deadly disease. Now this family and community will not know the possibilities of what Kyla Brianna Green could have been. Now you will watch this brief news clip and I will be back with more commentary. Kayla Green. Her killer get to get out in three years to live her life, to have family, to have a career. My daughter will never see that. It was April last year, right after Mount Vernon celebrated a basketball championship. Kayla, a school cheerleader, was attacked after the rally by a 15-year-old armed with a knife that she had shown off on social media earlier on April 8th. The motive is difficult to comprehend. A long-standing rivalry between two cheerleading squads in the city of Mount Vernon. Judge Susan Cacase said the defendant, who we cannot name or show due to her age, had a history of violent conduct. This was an intentional, senseless, and vicious, intentional crime, which has caused immeasurable pain. Prosecutors say there's no way to truly understand what set the defendant on her deadly path. The 15-year-old did express remorse, reading this statement through tears. Quote, I think of all the different choices I could have made that day that would have left Kayla alive and saved her family this heartache. But that is why everyone is here today, because I made bad choices. Hopefully, with our client sentencing today, the healing process can begin for the victim's family and for the community, most specifically for the city of Mount Vernon. Handing down a sentence of three to nine years, Judge Cacase pointed to one hopeful sign, saying the defendant is, quote, thriving in detention, perhaps on a path to make something of her life. In White Plains, Tony Aiello. This sentencing is sending the wrong message to the general public that you can unalive someone's child and not truly be held accountable how can this 15 year old thrive on the fact that she took another life and the fact that she traumatized and injured another schoolmate once again a promise unfulfilled a dream deferred who knows what kayla Brianna Green could have been. I cannot begin to imagine the pain that this family and community is going through. I hope persons who watch this video take this video seriously and have serious conversations with our children about bringing harm to someone else's child. Because in the heat of the moment can affect lives and communities as a whole. Protect black children, known and unknown. Say their names. Say her name. Kayla Brianna Green. Justice for Kayla Brianna Green, please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.